Maps R485 is a navigation app which can be used to record activities such as running and cycling. It can also be useful for checking directions when you are driving or walking to a new place. The maps under directions are provided by Google. To use the full features of the app, you will need a good GPS signal and internet data connection. Routes can be created on the companion app. After you have set a route, you can follow it even if you are offline or if you don't have your phone with you. The app features three screen types, map screens, route screens, and activity data screens. The map screens shows a map image from Google Maps. The map is centered on your current location and is always north up. The zoom level can be changed via the menu. The map is only available on the Pro version. Furthermore, it requires a good GPS signal and active internet data connection through your phone. Mind that the map takes a few seconds to be downloaded and transferred from your phone to your watch. For navigation purposes, the route screens are the most recommended. The app features four of them. They become available once you set a route and get a GPS fix. First route screen shows the complete route. The points where you have to turn are highlighted. The second route screen also shows the complete route, but it emphasizes the trace and does not highlight the turning points. The third route screen is zoomed in and centered on your current location. The zoom level can be configured and is independent of the zoom level on the map screens. The three route screens we mentioned are north up oriented. The fourth route screen, however, is head up oriented. Therefore, it can be considered as the best screen for navigation. The route trace will be redrawn according to the direction in which you are moving. On some screens, you will see a circle with a green dot and a number in it. It is actually a compass which indicates the direction and the distance to a point. This is usually the next point where you have to turn. The compass rotates according to the direction in which you are moving. For example, if the point is in front of you, it will be displayed on the top of the circle. By default, the watch vibrates when you are near to a turning point and when you are close enough to it, the subsequent point in the route will become the one indicated by the compass. If you miss a point or if the watch fails in guessing which one is the next, you can manually adjust it using the options Go to Next and Go to Previous. In some cases, you may want to disable this navigation feature. Therefore, you can open the menu, go to Advanced Settings and turn Auto Advance off. Generally speaking, you would want to leave it on if the route was calculated using the Google or Apple services and turn it off if you have loaded a GPX file or an activity from Strava.